Fire inspectors with the FDNY reassigned to other duties as part of the city's COVID response. Instead of inspecting buildings, many of them were tasked with making sure the businesses were checking for proof of vaccination. And it's something that union leaders say may have resulted in deadly consequences. Linda Schmidt is here now to explain, Linda. Yeah, hi there, Steve and Laurie. Well, first of all, the FDNY has 450 fire inspectors, but nearly 100 of them were transferred to the city's COVID task force. And a union president says that move could have contributed to the number of people that were killed in that deadly apartment fire in the Bronx back in January. There could have been le less damages uh, in regards to death had the building been inspected uh, by our fire inspectors. Warren Barzile is the president of the union representing FDNY fire inspectors. He says the apartment building fire in the Bronx, where 17 people were killed in January, including eight children, was scheduled for a fire safety inspection about a year before the fire. But that inspection never happened. That's because about 90 fire inspectors had been reassigned to the city's COVID task force for about a year and a half. Their job, instead of checking buildings, was to make sure that a restaurant was complying with the vaccine mandate. During the pandemic, we were not able to test and perform all our inspections. Testing fire protection systems, such as sprinkler systems, standpipe systems. That information shocked and alarmed City Council's Committee on Fire and Emergency Management during a Zoom hearing last week. That, to me, is outrageous. It is unconscionable. After the fire, the FDNY said the smoke quickly spread throughout the apartment building because several doors, including stairwell doors, malfunctioned and did not self-close. The union president, believing more tenants could have been saved if the building had been inspected when it was scheduled. While they're doing the standpipe inspection, they would have noticed that the hallway doors are not closing by themselves as they're supposed to and they would have issued citations and an order to correct it immediately. However, the FDNY tells Fox 5 that fire inspectors are not required to check doors to see if they are properly working. So even if inspectors had been to the building a year before the fire, it is no guarantee the malfunctioning doors would have been identified. And also today, Council Member Joanne Areola has asked the Council's Oversight Committee to review this situation. And by the way, fire inspectors are no longer part of the COVID task force because, of course, they are no longer needed for that.